Hi guys, I am Tejaj with another video on fun math. Today let's see what is meant by common chord of two circles. In previous video we have learned common tangents to two circles. Some circles can have four tangents or two common tangents or one common tangent or imaginary tangents. Now let's see common chords. Now chord. What is a chord? We know that chord is a line that passes through any two points on the circle. It connects any two points on the circle. It is called a chord. Now common chord. Let us imagine there are two circles intersecting each other. Let us imagine two circles with center C1 and C2 intersecting each other at two distinct points. Let they intersect each other at two distinct points points then the line or the chord joining those points of intersection is called common chord okay let there be two circles s1 x square plus y square plus 2j1 x plus 2f1 y plus c1 is equal to 0 and s2 x square plus y square plus 2j2 x plus 2f2 y plus c2 is equal to 0 let these be two circles with center C1 and C2 respectively, capital C1 and capital C2 respectively. Now, the equation of the chord is 2x into g1 minus g2 plus 2y into f1 minus f2 plus c1 minus c2 is equal to 0 or s1 minus h2 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the common chord. Now, let us, we need to understand this, right? Let us imagine there are two circles which intersect at P and Q whose midpoint is M. The midpoint of PQ is M. Okay, now let's continue on proving this. Okay, this is a some logical way of proving. Okay, now if we use two equations or if we use the equations of two curves to get another equation, then it passes through their point of intersection. This is the same way you use to solve two straight lines. In some methods, you will take two straight lines and you will subtract them and then you will get an other equation and then from that you can get x values and y values. It means that if we combine two, equa two or more equations to form an other equation, that resultant equation passes through their point of intersection. Their points of intersection now we will use the similar way here now chord is a linear equation right chord is nothing but a straight line so it should be a linear equation in x and y so there must not be x square and y square terms so we should cancel x square and y square terms how can we do that okay you can take the value of x square and y square and substitute that in another equation then you will get what we need Okay, first, the value of x squared plus y squared from equation number 2 is minus 2g2x minus 2f2y minus c2. x squared plus y squared plus 2g2x plus 2f2y plus c is equal to 0, right? Now, if we send all the other terms to the right-hand side, instead of x squared plus y squared, you will get x squared plus y squared is nothing but minus 2g2x minus 2f2y minus c2. Now, just substitute this in equation number 1 you will get minus 2g2x minus 2f2y minus c2 plus 2g1x plus 2f5y plus c1 is equal to 0. And if you take 2x common, you will get 2x into g1 minus g2 plus 2y into f1 minus f2 plus c1 minus c2 is equal to 0. This is how to prove that. Now let's see what is the length of the chord. Length of the common chord. Now, as we imagined before, the points of intersection of two circuits are P and Q, right? So, the length of the chord is nothing but the length PQ and M is the midpoint of PQ, right? So, the length PQ will be twice the length PM. PQ is equal to 2 PM. Now, if we take the right angle triangle PMC1, if we take the right angle triangle PMC1, Okay, how can we tell it is right angle? Because the midpoint of a chord is perpendicular to the center of to the 
center of the circle or if you take a chord and if you draw a perpendicular from it or if you draw the perpendicular bisector of it it passes through the center of the circle so it forms a right angle triangle with pm as one of its side and the other side is c c1m and the hypotenuse is c1p so we know that side is nothing but square root of hypotenuse square minus another side squared so you will get it as 2 into square root of c1p square minus c1m square where c1p is nothing but the radius of s1 and c1m is nothing but length of perpendicular from center of s1 to common tangent common chord it is nothing but the length of perpendicular from center of s1 to the common chord so the formula to find length of a common chord is nothing but 2 into square root of radius square minus the perpendicular square and there is an important point to remember that is if length of the chord is 0 then it means that the points of intersection collide with each other so it means that the chord is now common tangent the common chord is now common tangent and the maximum length of the common chord is the diameter of the smaller circle okay guys this is for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video if you not comment down below why you have it if you have any doubts comment down below and answer them in the next video